one of the most important sections of your Shopify store, and one that will be shown on every page, is your store header. Your header will include important elements, like your logo, and a menu so customers can navigate your store. It will also be displayed in all pages in your online store, so you want to make sure you get everything exactly the way you want it. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to customize your store header. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you unlock your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. To customize your theme, let's start by clicking the online store tab from the menu on the left hand side. This should take you to the Shopify themes menu. For this demonstration, I'll be using the popular Dawn theme. So to customize my theme, Let's look at the bottom right hand side here and click the customize button. This will take you over to the Shopify theme editor. By default, the header tab should already be available on the menu on the left. But if it's not, you can click the add section tab here to find and enable it. But typically, your header will be available by default and you can see a preview of your header on the right hand side. So to customize my header, let's start by clicking the main header tab here. This will open up a new menu with tons of options to edit your header. At the top here, you can use the drop down menu to select the position of your logo. You have four positions to select from, and when you select a new position, you'll see your header update on the preview on the right. If you haven't added a logo yet, then it will simply display your store name. But I want to use a logo instead of this text, so let's go over how to replace the text with my actual logo. To add your logo, you'll have to go to your theme settings. So let's look up underneath the drop down menu here and click the theme settings tab. This should take you to the logo section in your theme settings menu. And a quick note, if you ever needed to get back to your theme settings, you could use the icon here on the left hand side. So to add my logo to my header, let's go to the logo section up top here and click the select image button. This will open up a window where you can view all the images that you've previously uploaded to Shopify and where you can add new images as well. To upload my logo, let's click the add images button here. I can then find and open up the image that I want to use. Your logo should then start uploading, and once it's finished, make sure you have it selected, then click the Done button at the bottom right. Your logo has now been added to your theme, and should now be shown in your header instead of the text. But in my opinion, this looks a bit small, so let's see if we can adjust the size of my logo. From the menu on the left, you should see a slider bar where you can adjust your logo size. When you adjust the slider, you should see your logo update on the preview on the right. Take your time and make sure you select the best pixel size for your logo. Once you add your logo and adjust your logo size, you can then scroll down and add a favicon image as well. This is the small image that will appear beside your store name in browser tabs. So while we're here, let's click the select image button and upload a favicon to our online store as well. When adding your favicon, you want to use a square image and it'll automatically be scaled down to 32 by 32 pixels. So from the menu here, Let's go up to the Add Images button. I can then find and open up the image I want to use for my favicon. Once it finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then click the Done button at the bottom right. And you should see a preview of your favicon in the menu on the left. So from the Theme Settings menu, we've added a logo and our favicon, but there's also tons of other customization options here as well. Feel free to adjust any of these settings that you like, but for now, let's go back to the menu up top and click the icon up top here to go back to the theme editor to finish editing our header. So now that my logo has been added to my header, let's go back to the header tab here and see what else we can do. Checking out my header here, I think my logo will actually look better if I move the position to the top center. There we go. So now that I've selected my logo position, let's move down to the menu section. Here's where you can select the menu that you want to display in your header. If you've already created menus for your store, then one of them will already be selected by default. But if you wanted to change your selected menu or create a new menu, you can click the change button here. And from the drop down menu, let's click the change menu option. From here, you can view all of the menus that you've previously created for your Shopify store and create a new menu if you like as well. Once you've selected the menu that you want to use, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click the select button. And my header menu has been updated. In the next section here, we can also select our menu type. We have the options to have a drop down menu, a mega menu, or a drawer menu. For my header, I'm going to go with the drawer menu, which will add the menu to the icon here on the left. 
When a shopper clicks the icon, a window will appear showing my menu. This is a great way to keep my header clean and compact. Next, we have a drop down menu here where we can adjust our sticky header. A sticky header means that the header will stay on the screen as the customer scrolls. From the drop down menu, we can turn the sticky header off, have it on only on the scroll up, have it always on, or always on but reduce the logo size. For my store, I'm going to select the last option here, which is to always show my header but reduce the logo size as the customer scrolls. I think that looks pretty good. From the header menu, you can also adjust your header color scheme, your menu color, the spacing, and other options. Feel free to adjust these as well, but if you're updating your colors, make sure the colors you select complement each other and match your brand. So here's my header for my quantum design shop. I have my logo in the center, my menu on the left, and if the customer scrolls, the header will be sticky and my logo will reduce in size. Now that I'm finished with my header, let's click the back button here and go back to the theme editor main menu. So once you finish customizing your store header, make sure you save your changes, then click the publish button to update your online store. So that's a quick overview of how to customize your Shopify store header. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Dawn theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.